trumpets, blare the drums, here he comes. Hop along, Cassidy, here he Certainly, my child. It's the only one. We must be getting close to our place now. Let me take a look at the map. What did I do with that map? Put it here somewhere. Now, where? Here it is, Bart. <laughs> All right, my child. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's see here. Ah, there we are. At the Bar 20 property, we turn left. Oh, I didn't know it was that far. Well, you're in the Great West now, Anne. Not New England. <laughs> Ah, Paradise Ranch. Why, the name alone brings to mind the picture of clear, limpid streams. Lush meadows where contented cows wait to be milked by happy singing cowboys. And a certain retired professor can add to his collection of, uh... Shh. Pretty face, you're new around here, aren't you? Yes, my father and I are on our way out to our new ranch, the Paradise. Oh, then you must be the Larson girl. Mm -hmm. I'm Dale Martin. How'd you like me to show you the way? I'm a right good one-armed driver. No, please give me my reins and go away. Oh, spunky little rascal, aren't you? now, miss. <sighs> you apparently haven't driven very much. No, but I intend to learn as soon as we get to our new ranch. New ranch around here? Yes, it's called the Paradise Ranch. Dad just bought it and we're on our way out there now. Oh. Well, what's the matter? Nothing, uh, Miss... Uh... Larson, Ann Larson. My father's Professor Alonzo Larson of Scripsdale College. And that is, he was until he retired last winter. Oh, he's not far from here. He'll be looking for me. Well, I'll help you find him. I'd like to have a talk with him anyway. All right. Thank you. Can you find your hoppy lucky? No, he's probably off someplace rounding up strays. Some folks never know when to quit work and eat. Now, me. Oh, the only reason you eat so is you can take that fool tonic. It ain't showing you know it. Sunnish tonic's done me plenty of good. Oh, that's him now. Oh! What's there from over here? I'll get you. 
introductions completed, the professor happily told us of his purchase. But I knew from the start that he had been swindled by a smart land shark. Come on here, boy. Get up there. Pretty bad now, but you might fix her up with some female doodad. But how are we going to make a living here? Well, before we go off the deep end, let's take a look at that map here and see what oh, you bought. Yes, the map. What did I do with that? Here, Dad. Oh, 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 yes. Thank you, my dear. Here it is. The area outlined in red is ours. Just what I thought. I was almost sure of it. What is it, Hoppy? That box canyon that is on the paradise. Those are the rocks we climbed to find those three strays last fall. Yeah, and Hoppy get lost for a couple of hours. I remember. Oh, I didn't get lost. I just found something, and I was taking a good look at it. What'd you find, Mr. Cassidy? Traces of silver. Silver? Well, then we're rich. Uh, that's nothing to get excited about. It might be a little, and it might be a lot. Silver lies pretty deep. It's much harder to get out than gold. Ah, uh, what's the use of thinking about it? Looney's broke, and we couldn't scare up enough money to start tunneling, even if it was good or. Pretty tough, isn't it, Hoppy? Yeah. Well, thanks for everything you've done for us. But I guess we ought to try to get some of our money back and go east. That Bentley won't give up a cent. Well, then I guess we'll just have to stay here and try to get along somehow. Maybe I can find the answer. Where are you going? I'm going to town. You two boys stay here and see what you can do for the You get day. something in mind, Hoppy? Don't you need us? Not this time. It's nothing like that. This is just a nice, friendly business trip. I made the professor's problem my problem. So I rode into town to see Mr. Waite, the local banker. Mr. Cassidy, what can I do for you? I'd like to have a talk with you if you're not too busy. Well, come on inside. Never too busy to talk to my friends. Have a cigar? No, thanks. I never use them. Now, don't tell me you're here to borrow money for the Bar 20. Oh, no. The Bar 20 is doing all right. It's the paradise I want it for. The paradise? Well, that belongs to Bentley. It did. He just sold it to a very good friend of mine. Oh, too bad. What would you say if I told you there was silver on that land? There are traces of silver in all the hills around here. This is not just a trace. I have reason to believe it's a whole ledge. What? You must be out of your mind. Where is it? I'll be glad to show it to you. It's right on the paradise. Well, I'd certainly like to see it. Now bring in a sail along with me. If the thing's as good as you say, we'll talk business. Fine, that's all I ask. If you're right about this, <laughs> what a laugh it'll be on Bentley. Yeah. Well, so long. Goodbye. Well, if it ain't little pretty face itself. Please step aside. I don't wish to speak to oh, you. Oh, now, don't be coy. Out of the way. Who do you think you're talking to, Sonny? Stop it, both of you. Who's your playmate, Lucky? Just a fellow that's going to get himself in a lot of trouble if he doesn't stay away from me. By the way, what are you doing in town? Miss Ann needed supplies. Well, you better get what you want and let's get back to the paradise. I have some interesting news. What's the matter? Something wrong? We made a mistake, Bentley, not hanging on to the paradise property. What do you mean, mistake? Cassidy says there's a big silver deposit on it. What? How do you know he ain't just trying to get you to buy it? You don't know much about Cassidy. If he says there's silver there, I'll gamble he's right. And we let it slip out of our hands for a measly $5,000. Oh, stop whining. We still have a chance to come out ahead. Hurry out to the ranch before Cassidy gets there and buy it back from the professor.
good afternoon, Professor. It was good till now. Mr. Bentley ain't talking to you. Dry up. Mr. Bentley, I wonder you had the effrontery to come here after the way you cheated me on this property. No, no, Professor, it's just a misunderstanding. Let's go inside. I'll explain the whole yeah, thing to you. Don't believe a word he says, Looney. He's a low down. Now, never mind him. I can clear it all up. Just Looney! Professor, I never could have shown you this broken down place. I had no idea it was in such a bad condition. Well, the only thing I can do is refund every penny of your money right now. Why, this is most unexpected and quite generous of you. Not at all. I'm just an honest man. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like to have the sales agreement first. Please. Why, certainly, of course. I, I've got it right here. Let me see. What's the matter with you? Bentley's here. Bentley? Yeah. Well, hurry up and find it. You know, I, I don't think I like your attitude. Listen, you old fossil, dig up that deed pronto or... Or what? You're not thinking of selling, are you, Professor? Keep your hand off that gun, you'll live longer. Now clear out of here, both of you. And keep off this property. Go on. I remember what I said. Papers are all ready just to fill in the amounts. Oh, fine. Well, I think 10,000 will take care of things until the mill starts paying us off. Better make it 15 just to be sure. I'll deposit the money to Professor Larson's account. Just as a matter of form, I've had to make out three notes for 30, 60, or 90 days against the property. 30 days? That's crowding it pretty close, isn't it? Well, that's the usual time. Well, that's only fair, isn't it, Hoppy? Well, I guess we can get on enough more in 30 days to meet the first payment. Which will be due at uh, exactly 12 o'clock, the first of next month. <laughs> you businessmen are really exacting. There are such things as extensions, you know. I'm sure we won't need one with Mr. Cassidy handling affairs. Well, I'm sure you won't. Here, Professor, sign these, please. In the three weeks that had passed, our progress at the mine had been more than satisfactory. Wish that man from the smelter would hurry up and get here. Oh, you'll be here all right. I gave him a sample of our best ore. You know, Hoppy, I can hardly believe all is happening to Dad. Well, it couldn't happen to nicer people. So lucky, sis. <laughs> hey! What's happened now? Another accident? Did you get hurt? Timbers let loose and brought down a big rock. Lake. Yeah, something's always happening around here. It's a chance, man. I'm quitting. You guys know it's good for you. You'll quit, too. I'm with you, Buck. It's a I'm hard luck job. I'm Looks like it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready uh, to quit, just too. Just a minute, boys, before you start talking about quitting. Accidents happen every place. Yeah, but not so often. Yeah, but most of these have been due to carelessness. That's right, they have. That's true enough. I know tenant bar and punching cattle is more in your line of work. But you're all doing fine. You're learning the job. Now, why don't you go back and go to work and just be a little more careful? Well, let's go back, boys. That sounds all right. Thanks, boys. Not reasonable now. What about you? Oh, we'll stick along. All right, but you better take care of that leg. Hoppy! Hoppy! Hoppy, Mr. Radley's here. How are you, Mr. Radley? Glad to see you. How's everything going? Well, we had a little trouble with hard rock formation, but we should start getting productive ore out any day now. I'm glad to hear it. I checked our engineer and assayer's report, and I'm authorized to contract for your entire output. How soon can you start shipping ore to us? Well, we'll have to start within a week. We've got a $5,000 note that's due at noon on the 1st. Well, I'll deposit $5,000 in your local bank. You can draw on it to the full amount, subject, of course, to your first delivery of ore to the mill. We have to be sure you'll be able to make delivery. Well, don't you worry. You'll get the ore all right. Good. Well, I'll have the papers drawn up and bring them to the house for Professor Larson's signature this evening. I'll go tell Dad. Bye, Mr. Radley. Thanks. See you later.
What's the matter? Everything. We hit solid rock. There's no telling how thick it is or what's beyond it until we dig into it. Where are they going? I've been suspicious of those two all along. Uh, they're Bentley more than likely to give them the bad news. Yes, well, they haven't got anything to tell. Lucky and I were the only ones in the tunnel when we hit the rock. We came right out to look for you. Nevertheless, everybody in town will know about it by morning. Let's have a look. Here's Buck and Sam. They ought to know something. Well, Bradley from the smelter company was there. He told them that the money would be in your bank, Wade, when they made delivery of the order to the mill. Can they get as much as they need in a week? Yeah, easy. They couldn't if there happened to be, say, a cave-in at the mine. Well, let's get that signed. I'd like to start back to town right away. Right. And... Where's your father? Well, he in California slipped out right after supper. Where's the professor? Oh, he's down near the mine, studying the peculiarities of the... Uh, the Striga... Uh, who? Uh, that's it, Hoppy, the owl. Jay, why didn't you lock the tool shed? Don't tell me what to do. I'm sure I locked it. I know my job. Don't go on it or say you didn't. Never mind. I'll go lock the tool shed and see if I can find the professor before he gets mixed up with that strig of... Uh, who? The owl. Yeah. 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 There was plenty of time to get away. Yeah. Let's go. Chance dynamite. Come on. <laughs> you all right, Looney? Dead. Yeah, he's all right. Give him a hand, Lucky. How about you, Huck? Oh, I'm all right, but Sam was killed with that dynamite he planted. Looks as though that contract won't do you much good now, Cassidy. I still want to sign the contract. We'll go in there the first thing in the morning and see how bad off we are. You waste your time, I'm afraid. I will see. The explosion had revealed a vein of silver, rich beyond our dreams. Biggest thing's work ever done. It is, I don't doubt. I never thought we'd make it. All our sense now. Boys, everything's working out fine. Looks like 
Jack, we'll roll right on time. I want you all to get a good night's sleep. We'll finish loading the first thing in the morning. A long ways to the mill. We gotta get there on time, ain't that right, boys? That's right. Come on, boys. Ordinary luck, we could make it to the smelter in plenty of time. But I wasn't discounting what Bentley and his men might try. This time, I got another idea. Follow me. I saw them make a break for the rocks above the pass, and I knew they were not giving up yet. Stop the last one and have the men help you. I'm going after Bentley. Right, Hobby. Everything go all right? Fine, fine. Just as we planned. You might as well notarize that conveyance back to me right now and get it over with. Oh, let's be legal about this. They still have 15 minutes to pay off the note. It'll make you a little bet. It'll be closer to 15 hours than 15 minutes before Cassidy gets here. I'll take that bet, Bentley. $5,000 worth. Get your hands up. Why, you, I thought you said... Never mind that. Get out the money the smeller agent deposited with you and be quick about it. I warned Wade to be at the smelter by 12 o'clock, and the ore was there with minutes to spare. Wait, I'll trouble you for that $5,000. Here you are, Professor. Pay wait the money you owe him on that note. Hear you? You hear a dunya? You leech? I'll take the note, too. You can't get away with this, Cassidy. 
I'll have you sent to jail for kidnapping me if it's the last thing I ever do. If I go to jail, I'm going to have a lot of company after what I heard between you and Bentley last night. Never mind. I know when I'm licked. What do you want me to do? I'm an old man. I Stop sniveling, you old bloodsucker. I'm sorry I ever got mixed up with you. It was your idea as much as mine. I'll give you two a better chance than you've ever given anyone else. You got 24 hours to clear out of this district before the decent people find you and ride you out on a rail. That goes for the rest of your henchmen, too. All right. You win. Come on, Bentley. 